I'm going to show you how to use the do circuits circuit editor to simulate our LED circuit. Uh, so there are a few things that you need to know about circuit simulation. The first thing is, is that for this simulator, we have to have a source, which is a battery, in this case, a DC voltage. Um, and you can right click and rotate this. And whenever you're simulating a, a battery like this, this long side represents the positive side of the battery. So if you double click it, you could change the voltage to the three volts that we'll be using in our simulation. Uh, now it says add components on this side. So the components we're going to use are a resistor. I'm going to double click this. And we're going to change this. I'm going to start with the 100 ohm resistor that we have in our uh, our document for the project. Uh, another thing, it says add ground. So we're going to add a ground. Ground, basically, uh, in this case, we're going to put it on the negative side of the battery. And uh, that's just a reference point so it can measure the different voltages and whatnot. Um, now it says add a measuring device. Uh, what we're going to do is select, in this case, just to be fairly simple, we're going to select an ammeter. So this will measure the current. And I'm going to wire that up. And uh, I also want to put an LED in here. So we're going to click on this right here. It's a red LED. And drag that into place. And rotate it. And the way this works is the flat side here is going to connect to our ground. And we'll wire that up. And uh, so you might notice here we have a circuit. And we could simulate the circuit as is. However, um, these are the schematic symbols of the different objects. So if you would like to keep it this way, you can keep it this way and click Run. Over here, we're going to select DC Analysis and then Run DC Without Sweep. It takes it a second and then it's going to give us our simulation. Now this is our number of amps that's read from our meter. So you can see this isn't really very pleasing to the eye. Um, what I normally like to do is click this button and it shows the real view and it's actually going to disconnect some of our components. That's okay, I'll show you how to fix that. Um, but this is what the real components would look like. So this is a picture of a, of a resistor. Um, the battery still looks like the battery symbol. We have a little meter here that's our ammeter. And we have an LED here that looks like an actual LED. So what I'm going to do is rotate this LED back to the orientation we need. Because LEDs are polar. That means they can only work in one direction uh, in your circuit. Electricity must flow, uh, positive must be connected to one side, negative to the other. So we're going to do it so that our A, our anode, is connected to our resistor, and our K, uh, which is our cathode, will be connected to ground. And here we're going to wire up our, uh, I'm actually going to try to delete this wire. So we're going to wire our ammeter up in series here again with our circuit. Now the reason we have to wire the ammeter in series is because ammeters measure current and current is the flow through the wire. So if we were to think of this as a pipe we need to have some kind of measuring device that measures the flow through our pipe so we have to put it in series with the other pipes. So now we have this circuit set up and if you'd like, you can double click this and change this to a different colored LED. Blue LED, uh, green or yellow, for instance. Um, I'll keep mine red. And once this refreshes, we can uh, go to our run. Again, make sure we're on DC analysis and run DC without sweep. And when it simulates, we can close this window. We can see that our LED is turned on. 
and we can read our current measurement here. So uh, we have our current measurement there, but if we want to also take voltage measurements, we come in here and grab a voltmeter. And notice the voltmeter has a plus and a negative as well. Um, the ammeter has a plus and a negative. Here, I've connected it backwards. You, generally, the positive side of the ammeter connects to the positive side of the battery. Um, if you have a negative value here, I'm not going to count it incorrect because it just depends on how you've wired it up. If you wire it this way, it looks easier than if you wire it the other way. Um, you can flip this, and now the readings will be positive. Um, with the voltmeter, we're going to try to measure our voltage across our LED. So we can wire it like this. And just for good measure, let's also measure the voltage across our resistor. So what I'm going to do is, again, flip this so that our positive side of our meter is connecting to the positive side of the battery uh, area here. And uh, so we measure voltage across an element. The voltage is being measured not in series, but in parallel with the element that we're interested in. So now I have my voltmeter set up, I have my ammeter set up, and I have my LED set up. So when I run, I should get three values. And if I close this, I can actually see the values displayed in my voltmeters. Um, so this is one part of the project. Then we're supposed to change the value of our resistor. So let's do 200 ohms. And what we'll notice is our values, our voltages across each of these elements, and our current will change. So if I click Run, again, DC without sweep. Uh, what I've noticed here is that this value changed quite a bit. Um, these values are still pretty close to what they were before. If we continue changing this to fill out the table that's in the project, we should be able to get all of our results.